Hi everyone, you can see we're back here with the Kid Fly suit and I'm going to show you two previous suits that you can make with this design and some imagination. But also what you will need, you can buy a one piece yellow suit that is off the internet. They go under the name of Morph Suits. Or you can just purchase some yellow fabric from online that can be nylon, anything you like the colour and texture of. This fabric that I'm about to use, I just like the colour and texture of it. Some sharp scissors. You will need a sewing machine or a thread and needle and some sewing techniques along with a hot glue gun and either some cardboard or EVA foam. Now I use Peltax for the armor pieces but we'll get into that in a later video. For this I'm just laying out my yellow fabric again. This can be anything you want, polyester, nylon, spandex, really anything you like the color and texture of. So you can see I just cut off my piece like so. And for all of my shirts like before. I always just cut my shirt base. Now this is just the other person from Let the Geek Speak messaging me. Shout out to Connell Wilson, he is the man. But again, you just lay your yellow fabric like so. And as always, as I say, you will get a t-shirt that you like the fit of or a shirt that you like the fit of. And you can lay this down flat on top of your fabric. All right, now this shirt you will be using, you will have to like the fit of it. It can't be just a baggy t-shirt. Pick a shirt that you like the fit and is a nice tight shirt on you. So I just cut around that shape like so, I add in the arm curves, again I add in the shoulder, you are basically replicating this shirt and then I add in a neck piece that can be optional and just cut to halfway point and fold over your material. You can watch many of my previous videos guys, I explain it in a lot of different ways but all is the same, you just cut out a shape of your shirt, you add in some different design features and you will get the design that you desire. That is some mental technical stuff right there. You can see now I just cut out my shirt base shape like so, fold it over and I want to make both of these sides the same shape so that is why I fold it over to get a symmetrical cut and use some sharp scissors guys because you will want nice clean lines for this but you can see I have my nice shirt base with my two arm curves and my neck piece. So I achieved this symmetrical design by just cutting, folding over the material and cutting out the same shape. So I lay down for my arm piece now and I measure out how far I want from my shoulder to my armpit like so you can see here the top of my shoulder right down to my armpit and then measure out my length of my arm. Okay so I will cut these off right now and I start to connect the dots. Alright so I measured out the top of my shoulder to where my arm was and then I put down a jacket that I like the fit of. Again this is just replicating shapes, taking and measuring out different shapes that you like the fit of and then cutting those out and putting it together and now I will just lay down my arm curve or my arm base for to get that nice arm curve shape that I have put already into my suit and again you'll want these lines to match up because it will all be fitting together in your final result alright so now my arm curve fits up with my arm curve on the base I will cut down these diagonal lines So guys, you'll always want to go bigger with your pieces, again as I say, it is better to take away from the pieces than to have to add, it is much better for sizing, but you can see my arm curve and my base arm can fit up together like so, and I will just replicate both of these sizes. Okay, so I'm just about to cut the same shapes as these again, you can see now I have both of my arms and both of my shirt bases. So I fold that over, I have two sides to my shirt base, fold up my arm like so, I have two sides to my arm. And again on the other side I have another two sides for the other arm. You will need to do this for all of your pieces and you will be sewing and gluing these together to get your nice jacket fit. Alright guys, now as I say you'll always want to start off gluing, this is optional with a glue gun and glue down the sides, the shoulders, down the sides of the arms and again you will be gluing in the curves. I will be giving a very detailed introduction into gluing the arm curves later on in the video so stay tuned for that and I have a zip right here. Zips can be bought in art shops, they can be bought online, separately. Don't be going and take, you can't find them on old bags or old clothing. But again, you can buy them separately online or in art shops. Alright, so here we go. You can see I just start to glue on my shoulders. I will always say glue at the start of the shoulder because that is what is going to hold your pieces together the whole way through. It will hold the two sides in position and no matter where you move, your pieces will be in the right position. Alright. So you just start to glue up your shoulder and your neck piece like so. I will say the glue gun is optional. I just show this because many people do not know sewing techniques and introducing them to a glue gun is much easier than a sewing machine. 
okay but as I always say I go over these lines with a sewing machine you can use a needle and thread to hand sew but I will just start to glue up my lines and up my sides so thanks for watching guys and here's the rest of the video So I just have to add this in there with all the videos. Please guys, hot glue is hot. You can see I just burnt my hand there. Please be careful. Please be supervised if you are underage because this stuff can really, really burn you. Just lay it down flat. Do not try not to put too much glue on your edges because you will be sewing this. So yeah, thanks guys. Hi everyone, I'm just about to show you uh, your arm curve or how the way you can connect your arm curve, well your arm to your shirt base. Okay, so I'll actually give you a bird's eye view right now. And you can see we have the shirt like so, and I'm about to show you how to connect this piece to your shirt base with a nice clean line. Okay, so let's get up nice and close here, hopefully the camera stays like this. And you will see now we have our arm curve, and what you will do is you will take your shirt base, and you will turn it to the other side. So you can see here, you can just flip the fabric over to the other side, like so. And then you will take your arm, now again, your arm opens up, or your arm piece opens up to reveal the curve, to go your, your arm to enter into, like so. And you will take the inside, again, right here. So that is taking the inside of your shirt, taking the inside of your jacket, or your arm curve, and placing those both parallel on top of one another okay so you will place both of those on top of one another you can sew this line you can glue this line anything you want but again I'll just show you you will take the shirt uh, turn it around to reveal the inside then again for the arm open it up to reveal the inside put both of those parallel to one another you can glue and sew this and this will give you your nice arm curve so you will do this the whole way around your jacket and this will give you your nice arm and opening and also your nice shoulder length. Okay everyone, so make sure you maybe have a curve going in that. It will give your design a much better fit. Again, just take the inside, place this on top of your shirt like so or on the inside of your shirt. Place those both on top of one another like that and you will get a nice clean line. Alright guys, I'm going down to sew this jacket right now. Just wanted to give an in-depth look into that. Sorry that this was two minutes. Love you. So, hi everyone, uh, we're just back here now with the kid flies, I'm just out of work, I work on the weekends. So, we have our kid flies jacket, now after you glue the edges and sew the arms, sew the shoulders, so I'll actually turn this inside out. Okay, so you can see that I have actually the sew lines right here, and you can actually see the difference, so I cut it for this size, and I've actually taken it into this size. Alright, so this is not needed. Alright, all of this space right here is not needed. I actually don't need, uh, you can see it kind of gets a lot closer in. Alright, so it gets a, a big dip right out here. So all of this right here is excess fabric that I didn't need. The same with the bottom, again you can see I cut it for this height right here. And I ended up taking it up to this height. 
All right, so that is actually how you tighten in your, uh, you actually tighten in your arm pieces or your shirt pieces, as I'll show you with the side. So you can actually see here with the side that I cut it to this size and I've taken it into this size. So all of this fabric right here is excess fabric that I do not need. So I can just cut that off. But I just want to show you this now with the sewing lens in it. I'll put the jacket on. And again, I will say I have tightened it in. So I have actually made it a bit tighter. And that is just by taking in the edges, taking in the arms. And that's all you do is kind of just sew in a bit closer to your lens. And you will get a much tighter fit. So you can see now I have also added on the zip right here. And that just zips up like that. All right, everyone. So this is my nice tight fit kid fly shirt so far. I have the arms like so. And you can see it fits nice and tight around my edges and around my sides. The zip just goes right up the middle like here. You can buy zips loosely. You buy them separate like so. So you Actually, I have a packet of zips right here. So I got these zips for uh, the zippers for the masks. So these are actually quite small. Okay, but you can buy your zippers just like this very loosely, either off the internet and in fabric stores and a material shop and uh, an art shop, uh, basically online, anywhere where you can find them. Take your own initiative and you just glue on your zip or sew on your zip up the middle. I will have a whole other video for that. I've also made my symbol. All right, guys, so I've made my symbol. I will just show you previously how I did this. And you just see that goes on like so. Now it's just going to sit nice in the middle of my chest like that. All righty. So again, you just make your jacket base. Then you will go on and make your symbol. Now I have made this symbol out of a plastic like kind of lid. You can see it has that kind of lift. And again, I have just cut a very big lightning bolt like so. Wrapped it in the red fabric. And I have some Peltex here at the back so that it actually can sit on my chest. Now again, you can cut yours from cardboard, EVA foam, anything guys. Anything goes. Anything that you like the look of, the fit, the texture. You can make it out of whatever you want as long as you like it. That's all that matters. Okay, but I'm about to glue on half of this badge. Put some Velcro on this side so that when I lift this up, I can zip down my jacket and lift off the badge. Okay, everyone. Sorry about the whole lengthy process, but this is how you make your kid fly jacket base. And then you can add on all your accessories, your armor pieces like I'm about to do. So, yep, just stand right back, let you get a good look at this. And there's a nice tight fit, alright? So, thank you so much for watching guys. You're awesome. Please subscribe and comment. As always, let your geek speak. And there will be much more videos as we go along. Bye. So hi everyone, you can see this is just for the bods. Now here I am using Peltax. Peltax can be found in a Hobby Lobby in the US, or this can be made from EVA foam or cardboard, whatever you want. All right, just something thin and flexible like so. And first I will take the ruler and I will start to draw just the diagonal lines like so. These can be any diagonal lines as long as you like the look of them. So you'll do your top one. And again, keep the same shape and line and bring that down to about there. Okay, so you can already see you have two parallel lines like so. And what I'll just start to do now is start to shape these up like now. All right, so I'll just about to speed up the process. You'll want to keep designing your pieces to whatever shape and size you want. Again, I've brought this out too far, so I'll just bring this in. Keep the same shape of line parallel to it like so. Just draw that and you'll just want to match up your lines. All your lines need to really be matching up for this design to really pop. Okay, look at many other different kind of kit flash designs or any any other kind of design that you really want, but this one I really, really like from the Young Justice style. Okay, so just do this. And again, the process is about to speed up right now. I'll just like to see that.
So this is my kit flash symbol guys, you can see right now, and this is just going to be placed on top of the plastic container as I say, or the plastic lid. Alright, and that's going to give that, that nice lift off of the suit itself, give that emblem the nice standoff. And you can use this for a flash, again you can use cardboard or EVA foam, colour or texture these whatever way you want. Do this for multiple parts of your suit. This can be used for a Batman chest plate, anything you want. All right, but I will just cut a piece for in behind the circle. Uh, if I can just find that, like so. And I just cut a circular piece. Again, this just is the same size as this. It just pops on under like so. Push that on up through. And this, that just gives that that nice white background. You can put that on top and you have your symbol, guys. All right, so again, I will say you can use anything and use this technique for any and all badges. You can use cardboard or EVA foam. Use the top of an aluminium can if you do not want to use this black piece. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the mask. Stay tuned for all the armor parts. And this has been the mask base on the symbol. Okay, love you. Please subscribe and comment um, from me, everyone here at Ireland. Always let your geek speak. I love you from Wally West. He is back from DC Rebirth. Go and watch DC. Just go and read DC Rebirth or watch Comic Storian's video on it. That's all I can say. I love you all. Bye, guys.